Have you ever noticed that there's an inner critic on the inside of you? And every time you get an idea that there's this voice saying, you can't do that, you're not good enough for that. Today, I'm talking about silencing the inner critic. Stay right here, we'll get right into it. So glad you joined me today. I'm talking about silencing the inner critic. This is Amy and you're watching Stick With The Plan. Man, I just was thinking about this. How many times you get a great idea, something wonderful, you think, oh, th this will work out. But the more you think about it, the more this conversation develops of this inner critic saying, oh no, um, you're too old to do that. Or maybe you're too young to do that. Or you haven't been to school for that. Or maybe you want to go back to school. And it's saying, you don't have enough money to do that. Uh, So-and-so can do it, but you can't. And you're constantly back battling this negative voice. You know, I believe that's really hurtful to yourself and you wouldn't talk to a friend like that. So why do we entertain a conversation on the inside of us that is so limiting to our potential and truly to what God's asking us to do? I believe those desires, those prompting, those nudges on the inside, that they come from God, that he's pushing us out into the direction he'd have for us. So if we're constantly listening to and yielding to, not the Lord, but that negative critic that's saying, no, not you. Let somebody else do it. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll miss God. We'll miss our calling. We'll miss our purpose. And so I was thinking about this. You know, babies this past uh, week, I got to see my little niece, Amelia. She's three months old. Uh, that's my sister Faith's daughter. And she's so happy. You start talking to her and she starts smiling now. My, my niece June was there. My little nephew Maverick was there. Jenny's two children, my other sister. And they, they are ready to laugh. They are wired to smile, to have joy. You were originally wired to be joyful, not to have this uh, negative critic dominating your life and dictating your decisions. No, when I started talking to these babies, oh, they start smiling. <laughs> they start Start laughing. You know, you were made to laugh, to be joyful, you know, to really have a positive conversation on the inside that when you're talking to yourself, you say, hey, you can do that. You know, I, when I pray over my family and I thank God, so thank you for my family and thank you, Lord, that I'm the very best mother my children could have. I'm the very best wife my husband could have. You know, maybe it's not true. Maybe I'm speaking that by faith, <laughs> but it sure is better than cutting myself down and saying, man, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm just the worst at this. They, they could have somebody so much better than me. No, I'm, I'm going to spin it for the positive. The Lord's changing me. He's helping me grow and develop. If you look at the Word of God in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 10 and, and verse 4, it says that our weapons are mighty. And, and verse 5 says, for casting down strongholds, for thoughts. We know the devil uses suggestions, ideas against us. That, that our weapons are mighty. Pulling down these strongholds, bringing them into captivity. Meaning if they don't line up with the Word of God, we don't listen to them. And to the obedience of Christ, into the obedience of Jesus Christ. We make them line up with the Word of God. If Jesus didn't say that about me, then I, I don't have to believe that about myself or let that be a limiting thought. Many people, you know, if they'll see a picture of themselves, they, they immediately see what's wrong with them. You know, they, they're looking for that, oh no, is my chin okay? You know, I have one friend that's always worried about their chin. Another friend, another guy friend's always like, oh no, can you see my belly? Is my gut hanging out? <laughs> we're, we're wired to think what's wrong with us. But I I want to encourage you today, let's rewire ourselves for joy. Let's silence the inner critic by thinking about what God's called us to do, that if He's in us, if the greater one truly is in us, He's overcome this world, then we can truly do all things because He's on the inside of us. So talk to yourself now this way. When you catch yourself saying something negative, having a thought, you know, if you think, oh, I could go over there, or I could start this business, and immediately you have the thought, no, you can't. Who do you think you are? That's a hurtful thought. If a friend can to you and said, I'd like to start a business. You'd say, go for it. You can do it. You're the best one. I know you're gifted in that area. Talk to yourself like that. Go ahead and encourage yourself. David said, I had to encourage myself in the Lord. You know, if no one is encouraging you, you be your biggest supporter. Be your biggest encourager. Get in the word of God. Let God bring new reinforcement to your mind. That'll change that inner conversation so you will not be limited anymore. And that's how you'll stick with the plans he has for you. Thanks for joining me today. I love hearing all that God is doing in your life. And thank you, thank you for sharing this. New friends get to watch this because you are sharing this. If you're on Facebook, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. If you're on Facebook, like this page. We'll have a brand new video for you next week. And remember, every Tuesday, we are live. I'll see you then.